Alright, episode 10 begins now. What's up, YouTube? Angry Jack Lowe. I'm here with the Kuma Takri 3.5. Not the one, not the two, but the 3.5. And this, my friends, is the official blade of Snake Eyes of G.I. Joe. Yo, Joe! Take a look at this. Let's see what we're dealing with here, shall we? So right off the bat, tan. Sexy, sexy tan. Look at that. Light, very lightweight too, but is it sharp? So as we're doing with these big blades, we're doing a before the abuse, and then we'll do a revisit after the fact. So I have here Peterson's one day meat sale. Ah, that's what she said. All right, so we've got, it's not quite flyer, it's a little bit slight lighter but still thick oh shit look at that look at that cut it baby cut it baby damn this whole thing is just one big cutting monstrosity look at that look at that, look at that. i am a choppy machine chop 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 choppy machine choppy choppy we'll go slow now we'll do one real slow Oh, I went too skinny. Oh, I went too skinny. All right. So there's no fucking doubt. This some bitch right here is wicked fucking sharp. So now we'll grab some of this here. Oh, it ripped. Hold on. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's cutting like fucking. I got carried away, sorry. Let me let me do something a little more controlled here. Not so fucking spastic. Okay. This shit is thick. It's that fucking padded. I don't even know what the fuck this material is cost called. But you can see. No problem. This is a lot harder than cardboard. Cardboard, you say? Well, yes. Have my handy dandy box from before. We shall cut it. We shall slice it. I did that with the tip. Just the tip. I just wanted to put the tip in. Just the tip. Okay, let's do this now. Hold on. Let's take that out. Take that out. I'm operating on a box. Operating on the box. There we go. All right. I'm going to put this to the side here. Now we go with the cardboard. Fragile. It's French. French cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's interesting though. Check this out. This is nothing but cardboard, but notice, since this is tan, you see some of these scuffs already starting to show up on the, uh, the surface here. I suspect by the time I'm done chopping with shit, she gonna be a lot more dirty. She gonna be filthy, filthy motherfucker. So now, we'll jump over to the pig head stuff and a harder test to see what the Kuma Takri 3.5 is capable of. I do a little yard work with the wife. She wants me to take care of all this stuff out here. So that's what I'm gonna do.
his wrist, I'll have to do with the weed whacker. <laughs> Damn fucking fucking bees, hornets. All right, so these are freshly frozen. I mean, these have not thawed out at all. So very thin blade profile. I'm a little concerned. So I'll start off with the light hit first. No problem. I'm gonna move up here to the snout. Actually right across the bridge of the nose here. So I seem to have a lot of problems. No problem. Yeah. You get a little bit of chinking. Not bad though. This is always a rough spot right here. That's like hard bone. Good cuts though. Chinking's not too bad. Go ahead and try a stab. I'm gonna stab this way. Good. Sinking in about that far. Not bad. Not bad at all. Try to snout. Another blade suitable for destroying wasps. Yeah, we try this here. Good. A little higher. Good. Okay, bring in so you can see the damage. Join your buddy. Join your buddy. Load up on guns and bring your friends. It's fine to lose and to pretend she's overboard and self assured. Oh no, I know. That's the eyeball. You can see it's just pure ice.
right. Penetrated. Okay. I'll do some chopping. Chop it right here. And I am back. Boy, oh boy, am I fucking tired. All right, so the Kuma Takri 3.5 just went through fucking hell. Pig head, car hood, metal door, wood. Did I mention the frozen pig head? And the coconut. Let's not forget the coconut, because coconut's are hard as fuck. You guys remember what I heard, where you guys heard that before? Coconut's hard as fuck. All right, so let's talk about the blade, shall we? So, tip intact, no problem. Edge along the cutting surface. No visible... No visible rolling. There might be just a very slight amount of chinks along the edge but yeah just one little teeny tiny one but considering the shit this bad boy went through that's fucking outstanding so let's go ahead and do, do a follow-up let's see on the edge here that's amazing Hang on. Not as sharp, but considering everything that it just fucking went through, is that really a surprise? Not really. Not really. It was a little surprising that the uh, basher didn't do more damage on the coconut, but uh, what is interesting is the uh, coating seems to be the only thing that suffered uh, from the use. So you can see there's been a little bit of transfer that came off of this right here. You see on the back end on the the pry bar area. I know it's not meant to be a bashing tool, but I, I still consider it a puño. Uh, I still think that you could use that to hit. So if you were striking this way and came back and hit this, I think that works just fucking fine. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let us get to the scoring. Um, Ace is not one of the scoring guys. Um, not yet. He's got to earn his stripes. He's the newbie. Newbie, I'm in your fucking head. Yeah, the newbie. Uh, so we're gonna stick with the the three amigos. Actually, there is one chink right. There's a few little chinks right there. Let me see if you can see it as I shift it. But those are nothing. As soon as I sharpen her up and take it to the strop, it'll probably be a non-issue at all. Okay. Let us start with, uh, let's start with Steve. I give it a nine. Son of a bitch is sick as fuck. It's straight ill, kid. Know what I'm saying? Okay. Randy. Lightweight. Vorpal sharp. Fucking deadly. I give it a ten. Damien. It is an instrument of deadly beauty. 
I scored 9.5. I am going to give this a... Uh, I'm going to give this a 9. I would have given it a 9.5, but I absolutely, positively do not like the uh, ballistic nylon sheaths. I'm going to have to get me a custom custom sheath for this, and this has definitely uh, earned the right to have its own custom sheath and sit among my favorite blades. Uh, the Kumatakri is amazing. Uh, I love this blade. I love the way that it feels. It's very lightweight. It's very functional. Um, the only thing I would have liked to see would have been some jimping uh, through here. And I know that Johnny mentioned that that's here for a draw type. Um, but again, I think I'm going to modify this and put some jimping in here just so I get a little extra purchase. Because um, while I'm wearing gloves, and I usually always wear gloves, um, I want to make sure I have something that doesn't slide. But other than that, fucking amazing, amazing blade. Outstanding, Johnny. I am thoroughly impressed with this. Um, you could use this in the woods. You can use this for the general purpose things. But me, I like this for a combat blade. Um, it's lightweight. I'd like to carry it, pull it out, and uh, get down and dirty with it. What do you think, Ace? Me? I think it's a great blade. It's a fighter. No doubt about it. It's all business, man. Yeah. Well. This definitely gets the Angry Jackal of Seal of Approval. If you are not aware of what this is, this is a blade from Topps. Um, designed by Wei Sun Johnny Tai. He is a martial arts master. Uh, he's done a lot of different things. You can learn more about him and his school and all the other good things here. And he's just all around good guy. So, the Kuma Takri not only earned it into G.I. Joe and Snake Eyes, but the Angry Jackalope highly recommends it. Amazing fucking blade. Amazing. Man, look at this guy. He sprung like a fucking lab rat. Yep. You fucking love it, right? Say it. Say it. I love it. All right. So that's it for now. If you like it, like it. Please subscribe. Tell all your fucking friends. Until next time, please be good to each other.